We should ask Donald Trump. You talked about black men would be with you. Where is a black man being uh, being nominated by you for your cabinet? Has anyone noticed there's no black that has been nominated on his cabinet? That needs to be raised. Right. Rather than who's talking, let's deal with what we're talking about. Oh, boy. Here we go again. Mr. Al, not too sharp, then, is over here using the same playbook, the race card. Yeah. I have a friend that's on Facebook that a couple of days ago, he did the same thing. He'll keep posting the same story about Tim Scott, Brian Donalds, and every other black Republicans that went out and supported Trump, trying to make us black folks who voted for Trump, trying to make us regret what we did. <laughs> 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 Man, I don't I don't see the play here. Look guys, I don't care if you don't put any black people in this cabinet. I really don't. What? I voted for Donald Trump to get the job done. Get that through your thick skull. Okay? This is not Biden's cabinet while putting all these unqualified colored folks in positions. Look, even if you look at how the Democrats filled the Joe Biden cabinet, they wanted to have a piece of every identity, but did they get the job done? Did they actually serve the interest of the American people? All right. We have so many examples of people that he put in that was not qualified, like the first Haitian Labesian press secretary, Karen Jean-Pierre. I don't have anything. I, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I just don't have anything. I don't have anything. We don't have anything. I just don't have anything. Don't have anything. So I don't have anything. 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 I just don't have anything. I just don't have anything. I don't have anything. Again, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Don't have anything. I don't have anything. I just don't have anything. I 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 don't have anything. We don't have anything. I don't have anything. Anything. I don't have anything. I don't have uh, anything. Yeah, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I just don't have anything. I'm just saying that I just don't have anything. I just don't have anything. One thing that I can say, I don't have anything. 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 I just don't have anything. I, I don't have anything. Don't have anything. I just don't have uh, anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Uh, well, we're, we, I don't have anything, but th I don't have anything. Don't have anything. Don't have, uh, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything, but I don't have anything. I just don't have anything. We just don't have anything. I 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 don't have a. I don't. We don't have anything. I. I just don't have anything. We don't have anything. I don't have anything. We don't have anything. I. I. I just don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything, but I don't have anything. I just. I don't have anything. I just don't have anything. So look, again, I don't have anything. I just don't have anything. I. I. I don't have anything. I just don't have anything. I don't have anything. Don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I just don't have anything. I don't have anything. We don't have anything. I don't have anything. I just don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Uh, I don't have anything. I, I don't have anything. Uh, again, I we, I don't have anything. So I I don't have anything. We don't have anything. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. So I just don't have anything. Uh, I don't have anything. That bitch is not qualified to do nothing but teach elementary school. What? But yet she was a press secretary. Why? Because she checked all the boxes. What's the other guy named um, uh, Pete Buttigieg? Another one. He was not qualified to be transportation secretary. If an underpass was constructed such that a bus carrying mostly black and Puerto Rican kids uh, to a beach, or it would have been, uh, in New York was, was designed uh, too low for it to pass by, that that obviously reflects racism that went into those design choices. What? Um, I don't think we have anything to lose by confronting that simple reality. And I think we have everything to gain by acknowledging it and then dealing with it, which is why the reconnecting communities, that billion dollars, is something we want to get to work right away. But yet, he's in there. Why? Because he's part of the rainbow community? Come on, guys. You guys are really trying it. You trying it. Try to make Trump look like he's a racist because he don't put no black people in his cabinet. Even though it's still early on. There's so many seats that's still open. That being said, 
Donald Trump's cabinet is about people who are going to implement his agenda. And he's not done, by the way. You have Susie Wiles, the first woman ever to serve as chief of staff. Mm -hmm. You have Marco Rubio, a Cuban-American who's going to serve as secretary of state, representing America across the globe when it comes to foreign policy. You have Tulsi Gabbard going to be at DNI. So many others that are coming, and there's still slots to, to be filled. So I think everybody needs to pump the brakes and just wait and see what happens. So let's say that Trump did put Tim Scott in as Secretary of HUD or something. Would y'all shut the fuck up? No. Oh. Y'all call Tim Scott a sellout or something, something. If they put Brian Donalds as something in the military, would y'all shut the fuck up? No. Oh. Y'all won't shut up anyway. Whatever Trump does, if he do put somebody black in, y'all gonna ride him out. If he don't put him in, y'all gonna still fill in the stories. It doesn't matter. Damn if he do. Damn if you don't. Now, Tim Scott has a nice leadership position in the Senate. If you take him out of there, that's going to make Trump lose some support in the Senate. It's a shit. Uh-oh. Uh I just love you. No, that's That's why he's a great politician. That's why he's a great politician. Now, Trump nominated Marco Rubio, the first Hispanic Secretary of State. Nobody's saying nothing about that. And he's from Florida. The governor of Florida have the power to appoint somebody as the senator to the next runoff. And maybe that he'll put Mr. Brian Donalds in that position. You know what I'm thinking about that? So actually, I think Laura would do a great job as a U.S. senator for Florida. I got a chance to really know her through the whole campaign process. Number one, excellent communicator, one of the best in our party. Number two, really knowledgeable about, about policy. Number three, her personal businesses that she's been involved with, in different projects that she's done. She knows how to get things done, bring people around her to be successful. I just want to fill in positions, just like this is Biden's administration filling out DEI uh, boxes. This is not it. We're trying to here to get the job done. We're not here to check out boxes, check out what sex you are, check out your height. Can you get the job done? Yes or no? And this is what Trump is doing, putting people in the right position. But you small minds out there, you race hustlers, all you worry about race, race, race. It doesn't matter with Trump. He gonna put the best person in the job. Mr. Trump put in a young 27 year old at the press secretary. in New Hampshire's my home. I grew up here in a business family, then worked for President Trump, fighting against the fake news and political elite. Now, they're back. Biden, Pelosi, Chris Pappas are destroying our economy, brainwashing our children, and allowing illegals to invade. But together, we can fight back and win again. I'm Caroline Levitt, and I approve this message. Donald Trump, you never see him around strong, intelligent women, ever. If this was a Democrat who did this, that have been talking about this forever. But, but of course, it's Trump that put a nice 27-year-old blonde as a press secretary. Y'all not hearing him on that. Y'all want to talk about the first black. Again, if he does put any black people in any position, you're going to still talk about it. So it doesn't matter what Trump does. Find something else to do. Goodness gracious. Uh, I think it's criticism where people are upset that they still lost this election. And so if you were going to ask Reverend Al or anybody else in the Democrat Party, they're still licking their wounds about the fact that this did not work out the way that they thought it was going to. But I get it. You guys are still big mad. Go over there, lick your wounds, and wait till 2028, all right? Because you'll need somebody to go against J.D. Vance. And I don't think you got nobody in your bench. Your bench is not deep at all. You need a recruit and train some folks. <laughs> anyway, like I said before, we need to protect Donald Trump at all costs. Let's go.